Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Respected scholars, my elders, my brothers and sisters, and the young ones. Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have welcomed the holy month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. This month enjoys a special importance in the Islamic calendar. As the Prophet has said, it is Allah's own month. It is the chief of all months and the most wonderful one. In the Prophet's sermon, at the approach of the holy month of Ramadan, the Prophet said, Whoever lightens the work of his workers in this month, Allah will make ease his accounting on the day of judgment. The thawab of this month is not limited to good doers. Am apre jetlu saru kam kare etlu padare apre inshallah kabar ma ane kya matna diya se apre kam ause apre apra maabap ni dyan rakhe bhai benu ni dyan rakhe saga wala ni dyan rakhe ane apra dostar che kya community na members che elo kani apre dyan rakhe to inshallah Allah eno ajar apse. Let us perform maximum good deeds as we can in this month, whatever it is, donating to the poor, trying to resolve the conflicts between the families, or even volunteering within the Jamaat, for this is greatly loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, I pray that Allah accepts all our good deeds and helps us to refrain us from bad forgive all our sins and open the gates of paradise for us all. Inshallah. Amin. I wish our community a blessed Ramazan Karim. I want to take this opportunity to update you on Jamaat affairs as, as it's now close to seven months since we came into the office. Unfortunately, we cannot meet face to face at the Imam Barakah However, technology allows me to reach you in your homes. Alhamdulillah, we have settled well into the office and we received good support from the outgoing managing committee and the subcommittees with the handover process. I thank the outgoing president, Alhaj Azim Bai Dewji, and his team for their cooperation and support. And may Almighty reward them and their loved ones for their hard work and great contribution to the community. When I made my intention to run for the presidency last year, I released my manifesto, which was my promise to you. And I'm happy to inform you that we have our eyes on the plan and have made good progress in a number of areas, be it spiritually, education, health, social service, mental, physical well-being and economic and community development. I will be updating you in every area of a series of videos recording in the coming days and weeks, inshallah. As a Jamaat, the year 2020 and 2021 have been tough for us. Since January 2021, we have lost dedicated servants of our community. Al-Hajj Muhammad by Dirani, Sayyid Hassan Naqwi, Al-Hajj Taki by Rajwani, Al-Hajj Muhammad by Qasim Dewji, popularly known as Mama, Al-Hajj Murtaza by Jivraj, known as Murtaza Karbala, and many more. These people served us greatly, but now they have returned to our Lord. Let us remember these fallen heroes of our community, all our Murumin with Surah Fatiha. Bismillah rahman rahim Today, I would like to give you an insight into the work that we have been doing. I will focus on the work under the Secretariat sections in today's address with a little bit of the trustees' portfolio. There are five areas I will update you today. Number one, health and safety of a community. Number two, 
our constitution review process. Number three, our plan for engagement with the community. Number four, organization and restructuring of the subcommittees. And number five, an update on our capital projects. Number one, health and safety. The year 2021 started out with some heavy decisions that we had to make. The scaling down of public gatherings, which took effect from end of January. Here, I want to share my personal feelings about the situations. As much I know that we cannot please or keep everybody, everybody happy. I hope you will try to understand that this decision was of downsizing of our public gatherings has absolutely no benefit to me or to my team. Ami ama kai fai do nati malto. Amne a imam waro bandche. Ame a badi madli su bandche. Amne pata ne ne mane ne mari team ne bojiu bareche. Pan amne karu pareche for our safety. Apra committee members waste. Please tamay loka amne ama saath hapo. Inshallah. A bimari pati jase ane apre pacha. Inshallah, Madli Suma Jai Saksu, and after meeting Waikari Saksu. I'm fully aware of my responsibilities as the president. My team and I will take decisions keeping in mind the interest and the well being of our community at all times. J. Apre J. Wajiba Che Aprama, let's say K. Nika Wajib Che. Burials are pressed to Wajib. E. Badi Ame Koshish Kerache, Ke Ame Eno Suliat Karisage. We have also made some progress in this area. Now we can give full burial rights to the deceased, which was a challenge for a few months back. For this, I would like to thank the brave volunteers of our Mayat Committee who have come together to make this happen. On a related note, our health center, Ibrahim Haji, has also scaled up operations, introduced treatments that was very costly, which our members had to go to other hospitals. I would like to record my appreciation to the Central Medical Board and Ibrahim Haji personnel for their efforts and hard work. Before I move to the next update, I would like to remind you about the health and wellness survey. Mara Bayo, Beno, Taminoka Badda, a form baro, a form ma amne garo information marse, je ame tamara waste kam kari saksu. Ama treatment waste che, ama apne amne life insurance nu karu che, medical insurance karu che, to baddi chiju amne a form ma ti je survey kaida che, ena opati marse, to please uminanti karu chu bayo ne, ne Beno, ne bachao ne badda a form fill kare. If you need any additional information about this, please call the numbers highlighted below. Number two, constitution review. Alhamdulillah, we are now close to releasing the proposed amendments to our constitution for public review and feedback. When we were handed over the proposed draft, which was in good shape, we sought some guidance from experts to shape up the language so that we can bring a document to the public that is simple, easy to understand and to apply and of course a long-lasting master document which will guide our community for years to come, inshallah. Community engagement and meeting members. Before the scale down of public gatherings, I was meeting members on appointment basis at the Jamaat office every Friday, which I announced today that I will resume again, inshallah, after the end of Ramadan. That does not mean that I'm away from the community if I'm not in the Jamaat office. Haji Humarson and Maluchu, Haji Marson and Fon Kareche, and a job of important way to Humaluchu Lokane, Karebo Lauchu, and a Jamaat office by Jamchu. Open forums and town halls. We wanted to start public forums discussing key areas of the Jamaat and provide members to engage with us. We will explain what we have planned, 
what we have achieved and what is in the pipeline. We have planned this so we can hear your views. Unfortunately, we cannot meet in person, so my team is looking at how we can do it on a virtual platform. I want to do this, my team wants to do this, so inshallah, it will happen very soon, inshallah. Organizing and restructuring process. We took a little bit of time when we came into the office to learn how operations are run with a view of the entire structure. Our aim is always to provide timely and effective service delivery to our community. So we have made some changes. We introduce new section that we thought need to be addressed. These are the three C's. Carriers, capacity building and counseling. We have challenges in the community that need to be addressed. From meeting higher education needs to matter of physical and mental abuse and a lack of skilled people. So three C's has been tasked to look at our challenges and address them in the best way they can. We have taken a few steps, as you may have seen, and we are hopefully, we will start seeing progress soon, inshallah. I will update on their progress in more details in my future address. Economy empowerment. We have made this a separate portfolio so that we can focus on financial well-being and empowerment. While the focus is to move those in the lower ranks upwards, but also those in the middle ranks upwards as well. The EEC team started out by conducting a survey and have managed to capture interesting themes and concepts, which they've already started working on. We will have special tailor-made courses and trainings for our community, for people to develop their abilities so their skills and value in the market can gain more income, inshallah. I want to say that we program that we will be able to get our own income up to the top of 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 the Information and technology. Again, this was a core agenda in my manifesto, such as making an e jamaat and using technology to make it easier for our members to access services. We have started to combine all our previous census data, multiple data sets from the past in order to make a single database. After this, we will progress to phase two, which will be connect all our service delivery points together. This will make it easy for all of you in this age of technology to connect with us. On a similar note, you will have noticed that we have used our website and YouTube channels to reach out to you and give you all the duas, amals, lectures online. Our public committee has worked tirelessly to make this all happen. And this Ramadan, there is a range of activities that will be coming your way. So stay tuned to our website for updates. Restructuring some sections. We have reorganized the Mayat committee to bring better coordination between the gents and the ladies. This joint committee now reports directly to the Secretariat. And on this note, I would like to announce to the community for anyone who may want to volunteer in any capacity, if you have some skills with information, technology, project management, anything at all, please reach out to my team. Also another subcommittee, we have made structure adjustments is the marriage committee. We have merged the operations of the marriage support group and the marriage reconciliation committee. We thought that bringing the two sections was going to be more effective in addressing this very important portfolio of our community. 
the new marriage committee will focus on building and keeping marriages strong which has not been given as much importance as it should be this way we can reduce the number of conflicts and eventually reduce the separations there will also be a strong focus on the before marriage so that we don't get issues that need resolving in the future the marriage team has brought up a very good plan which my team is reviewing and we will roll this out soon inshallah capital projects we have finally signed the contract with the main contractor the uhuru project janabai hasham residence along uhuru street this was done after the tender process was completed inshallah the project will commence soon prices and payment plans for the apartments will be will be out soon inshallah within one or two weeks inshallah regarding the multi purpose sports complex which was planned for al muntazi sports park the boq for this is in final stages and inshallah soon the document will go for tendering where we will invite contractors to submit the pricing for building the complex we are also thinking to build a state of the art hospital and have released an expression of interest for a medical consultant who can oversee the journey alongside us from planning to design to build all the way to the finished project i have focused today's message on secretariat and trustees activities inshallah we will release another clip for more specific updates from the subcommittees i wish all the members a ramadan mubarak please remember my team and myself in your duas specially when having your khajur and chai when breaking your fast assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh